Hello Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to Sylvie Tarot. I hope you are very, very good and great and all that good stuff. Let's get started, Pisces. Let's see what this new month is bringing in for you in love, in money, and all that good stuff. So the first thing we're going to look at is past love. And we're going to take a look at our singles. We're also going to take a look at money. Okay. So let's take a look at how this past person currently feels about you, Pisces. If this resonates, of course, hit the like button. Or if you just like the vibe and you already want to hit the like button, do so. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all right, check out my website. If you uh, are not sure what service you're interested in, all right, I have multiple different services, whatever suits you, and we could take a look at love for you. All right, Pisces, so what's up with Pisces here with the past person? How are they feeling about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? Look at this. Look at this person. So this person was a very interesting case, huh, Pisces? All right. Very interesting pace. Uh, interesting person. All right. So one thing I will say for a lot of you here is this person was petrified of, of being in a relationship or being in a certain type of relationship. This person could have been possibly still getting over something or maybe they viewed relationships in a very abstract way now for some of you there there's this a there's a past person here that they still feel your energy of course but at the same time i feel like this person it's like they they're thinking about the negative more than the positive and the negative could be like this is what could eventually happen if i give into this or this could be the outcome. Maybe this person doesn't feel like the outcome will be a good outcome for them if they were to open up to this. This person could also feel and feels like there is some sort of resentment on your side as well here, all right? So I feel like this person goes back a lot, um, back and forth a lot in their mind with, should I say something? Should I not say something? Is this going to be a healthy relationship? Is this not going to be a healthy relationship here? But I get this energy of this person possibly looking at you as someone that's upset or still upset. Trust here. So again, trust could have been broken or bruised here. So this person feels like, well, if I were to say anything to Pisces, like would Pisces even trust me? Someone here could have abandoned the connection at some point. That could have been one of the reasons here. It's like, listen, I know you, you didn't care. All right. So this person knows that you're onto them or you, you were onto them. All right. So this person could have abandoned the connection. How is this person also, um, feeling about Pisces at this time? Regrets Pisces. All right. A lot of deep regrets, a lot of, Hey, look, I didn't mean to do all that. Right. I didn't mean to come in like that. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to come in like that at all here. Let's see what this person's message is. It's like this person's coming in as like, I understand why you view me this way, or I understand why you're holding back, or I understand why you would kind of side eye me. So they understand. They're just not, they're just not really opening up too much about it. Could be a Capricorn you're connecting with or a Taurus or another Pisces. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo as well. If it's a fire sign, you may not trust this person anymore as well. Okay. Painful memories. So this person looks back and they know they messed up. They know that there's a, or someone here knows they messed up. Okay. I feel like this person could have been a bit insecure. Maybe they were really focused on the material aspects of life or just focus on lust to some degree or whatever they would define as lost here. But I just get that again, they look back at the connection and I feel like they're a little embarrassed to even come towards you and even say anything to you, Pisces. That's what I'm getting. Like what, what can I possibly say? You view me as toxic. You view me as unstable. Like what, what am I going to say to you? What can I possibly say to you after I've done all of this here? Okay. And again, some of you felt like this person chose other people over you, right? A big, big abandoned energy here. This person could also in this energy feel alone. All right. Anything else that we need to know? This person was a manipulator a little bit, honestly, Pisces. I just have to say that. Okay. Rocking it here. 
this person could be watching you or watching like maybe things that you post if you do post here this person looks at you as somebody that is like not able not being torn down so they view as somebody that's like still on your feet wondering like have you forgiven me what a catch here that came in reverse so this person's viewing you as somebody that was definitely their ideal partner here did this person ever talk about like a relationship with you here this person is noticing that they missed out on something great right they're saying what a catch right you were a catch you are a catch here all right but maybe this person again maybe this was like someone at a distance or maybe you felt like someone here wasn't mature let me see the other there was something that tore the two of you apart here and this person's noticing like maybe if communication was better or maybe if i was honest i feel like there was like a plan and someone completely just ignored the plan or they ignored what they were feeling a lot of things that were unsaid here but i feel like this person's just like wow regrets regret energy here so let's see if we will get any sort of actions from this person all right let's see what we could expect moving forward from this past person if you're not interested in the past person right we'll just wait for the signal uh single single section all right so let's see actions intentions we have six of wands we have the star it could be an aquarius fire sign aries sagittarius leo see i feel like this person's intentions is to still talk to you but at the same time still be secretive like and i feel like because the moon's here you'll be in the space where it's like you'll intuitively understand that this person's not telling you everything it's going to be a very odd interaction i could tell you that a very odd like you always feel odd some of you always feel odd when you talk to this person it's like something's not right something is still off something's not being said here so even when this person comes in to communicate comes in to talk you still feel like hey look we still have a lot to address and they feel the same way too here okay but this energy of like this this magnetic pull this telepathic energy here that this person feels when they think about you okay some of you feel like this person's still being deceptive and not only being deceptive of why they're connecting with you, but deceptive about their career, deceptive about what's going on in their life, just deceptive about their happiness, things like that, right? You're like, really? All, all that great stuff is happening? I'm happy for you. But then, you know, Pisces being intuitive, you're like, that doesn't feel right. Something strange about this. All right, let's go to sing singles here. Let's go to my single babies those that are ready for that new love let's see what that looks like let's see what that looks like here mm -mm -mm -mm. all right let's see so what's happening with new love with pisces pisces sun moon venus signs new love energies here new love oh we got the ten of pentacles why nine of swords and the fool here all right so i feel like you're ready i feel like you're ready to start something here i feel like for some of you it's like i want that person right anybody coming in anybody here currently that's new you're connecting with someone that wants to move along slow they still have some things that they're still trying to work through especially when it comes to money uh, you could meet this person at work if not this person talks about work a lot um, but I feel like this is someone here that loves to communicate. They love to communicate here. What is this person's intentions towards Pisces, though? The emperor here. This person likes someone that is ambitious. Okay, this person could also be ambitious. I feel like this person's intentions is to be straightforward. I feel like they want to be straightforward. I feel like this person's still climbing the ladder at work. All right, this could be a boss um, or an Aries or a Taurus, but I feel like this is someone here that 
wants to start something new. The question is, Pisces, are you ready for this person? That's the question here. And then we have the chariot. So this person could be someone here that may actually could be currently traveling or again, maybe they want to plan a trip with you or they want to take you somewhere or they want to take you out. Let's get a little bit more. So this person wants to get to know you for sure. They want to get to know you. But I feel like for some of you, you may feel like this person's moving too slow for you or this person's children gets in the way. I feel like one of the, the things I just want to say here is like, make sure that you're giving yourself what you deserve in this relationship. What I mean by that is make sure you're communicating what your desires are and what you're looking for. And even if you don't have to say it to this person directly, it's going to be important for you to say, hey, Pisces, this is what I'm also looking for in a balanced relationship. This is what I'm seeking. Uh, the reason I say this is because this person here, it's showing me they really know what they want, but they don't know what you want. All right. So I feel like they're kind of going in their own pace in a sense. And it's going to be important for you to say, hey, look, um, I understand you still haven't divorced your person or left that relationship, but that's not going to work for me. Or I'm understanding that you're still, you know, releasing your past person. That may not work for me. I'm not a therapist. Um, and again, for some of you, you may say, hey, look, the intimacy thing is cool and everything, but I actually want to have an emotional bond and see where things go. Like, it's just important to communicate is what I'm hearing. So if that, again, resonates with you, that is going to be something that you may actually bring up. Like, look, you know, before we jump into all of these oxytocin hormones flowing and things like that, we need to talk about some things because I feel like this person is interested in you, but I feel like there's some baggage that I'm picking up, but I do feel like they're serious about you. But again, Pisces, it's important for you to know what you want. Try not to create any thoughts in your head like, oh, you know, I like this person, so everything must be great. And you don't want to do that. All right, let's look at money, Pisces. Let's see what your money's looking like. Let's see what your finances are looking like. Oh, we got the Ace of uh, Ace of Pentacles here. So we have new opportunities coming in for you. Some of you just started something new. Okay, or you're looking into new things or there's a check coming in. All right, let's see. Finances for Pisces. Do it with love. Do it with love. Whatever you're doing, do it with love here. Some of you could be coaches, counselors. All right. Uh, Spirit is saying manifest everything that you desire here. Some of you are moving towards something you love. You're walking away from, oh, some of you are actually walking away from someone that was interrupting your your flow. Like, you know, I I could have been doing so many great things financially, cre like in a creative sense, but I had to walk away from this connection. So I feel like for some of you, there was a love situation here that held you back or is holding you back. Spirit is saying focus, stay focused, please, here. Um, there's just this defeating energy at some point when it comes to a person you were connecting with here. Yeah. So you're going to be in a set, you're going to actually have this firm, firm focus on something new that's coming in for you, especially with that Ace of Pentacles that's coming in here. Ten of Wands, you're leaving something behind. Some of you could be like wanting to work from home, wanting to travel a little bit more. You're feeling like, you know, Maybe, what are, what are you doing? What are they doing with for work here? You're doing something that you're not really happy with, right? Even if you're not getting paid for it, there's something that you're doing. You're like, I need to walk away from this. I'm keeping this poker face on, but I don't really like it, all right? Or I don't really like the energy that comes with this. So for some of you here, it's going to be very important for you to be honest with yourself in terms of, is this something that symbolizes truth for me? Is it something that symbolizes growth, um, happiness, radiance, and optimism for me? Okay. So I do feel like you're moving out of a, um, just an unstable work environment or environment could be at home as well, where it's like switching things up. There's something here that you're going to change. And it could be your spending, like the way you spend money here. Maybe you're spending money for loved ones or spending money for, um, again, adults. Like, what? Right? 
So you're ending something that you feel like, again, was a bit deceptive for you, right? Seven of Swords. So you know exactly what it is. All right, for those that resonate with that. Let's get a message here from Spirit for Pisces. What is the message for Pisces, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. What is the true... Choose a new direction. There we go. This is what this is what Spirit's been trying to say. Choose a new direction. All right. Work, love. Right. Spirit is waiting for you to enter that new door, enter that new gate here. There's a new direction that's again, you know, coming in. Definitely if you listen to your intuition, Pisces. Ten of Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, it's all about walking away from something that doesn't serve you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Have a phenomenal one. Bye.